What's up? I'm Manu from Averdeck. We decided to share some useful production tips with you guys. We use them all the time and they can be really helpful. If you like this kind of content, make sure to follow us on YouTube and also on Instagram for more such videos. Today I'm gonna show you how to do ghost trigger side chaining. I got my project here um, with a decent little break beat. and also my leads. Love them. As you can see, there is not a 4-4 kick. It means that we have to do the side chaining by the compressor. Therefore, you can create a new MIDI track and a new audio track. Rename the MIDI track to Trigger and the audio track to Ghost. I like to place them above the kick. Then create a new MIDI file and choose a kick for the trigger. Look for something with a lot of transient. This one here. Then you have to play along your kicks. There you go. Don't make the notes too long because you only need the, this little click at the beginning. Then you have to turn off your trigger layer and for the ghost layer, put a compressor on it. Go to sidechain, input from trigger, and choose this graph here. For the ghost layer, it's important to turn it on and put it on in. Now we have to send all our layers to the ghost channel. And now we can change our settings here. The reason why we do this with a trigger and ghost layer is you're now able to change the side chain for all your layers at the same time. So here it definitely needs more threshold, less attack, less release. Now you can definitely hear the difference. So this is with sidechain on. Sidechain off. And it works for all the layers. Just send every layer to the ghost channel and from the ghost channel it goes to the master. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching and we hope we were able to help you a little bit and you can use this trick in your new tracks. <laughs>